Vancouver Island is home to one of the world's highest concentrations of a deadly fungus. The fungus that often masks itself as pneumonia was associated with tropical eucalyptus trees in Australia till the Cryptococcus gatii was discovered in Parksville. That was nearly a decade ago. Now it is mutating genetically and it's becoming deadlier and it's heading south. The fungus mystified health officials a decade ago when people on the island were getting sick from what was always thought to be a tropical illness. Mary Beth Burton has the story. Cryptococcus gatii was first linked to Parksville's Rath Trevor Park, but has since been found from Victoria to Courtney and on the Lower Mainland. And so far we've had about 270 people infected on Vancouver Island and on the mainland. Until 1999, Cryptococcus gatii was only found in tropical plants, in particular this one, the eucalyptus tree. But since then, scientists have found it in all kinds of trees and even in soil. It can be carried by water, in the air, on humans, animals, and even inanimate objects, including vehicles. Th this particular strain of Cryptococcus that we have on the west coast, probably ranging from California up to BC now, um, is more virulent, which means that it tends to cause more severe illness than strains that have been found in Australia or in the tropical areas. Now the fungus has been found as far south as Oregon, with 50 Americans infected so far. A Duke University study mapped Cryptococcus gatii infection sites. Circles are human cases, squares are infected animals. Yellow represents the strain that's linked to Vancouver Island. The red, green and orange are genetic mutations. It could just be through its multiplication over time. It could, there could be an error in the, in the replication of the fungus or it could be mating with another type of fungus that can be found in Oregon and leading to a new strain. The U.S. study found 25% of those infected with Cryptococcus gatii died. On Vancouver Island, the death rate is about 10%. Viha says a lack of awareness about Cryptococcus may explain why the Americans are reporting so many deaths. They may not be identifying all cases, so in other words, they're identifying people who have died from the fungus, but not necessarily all people who become affected for it, so that would artificially inflate the deaths above the total number of cases. Scientists believe Cryptococcus gatii won't spread east in Canada where temperatures are colder. The fungus prefers warm and humid climates. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.